Hey guys, Jeff here from Rock Ridge. Um, we just finished uh, installing the pale, uh, pandemic taillight conversion. Um, seems like there's you know people who have issues putting the lights in, and I wanted to show you a couple little tips and tricks. Um, first off, since this is already installed and we just did it, um, I want to show you how to get the light back out without damaging it, without using screwdrivers and stuff. Um, all you do is push the light evenly back into the cavity of the Jeep. Then go ahead and pull out your grommet. Okay. Pull out your light. I'm going to disconnect the light just so I can show you something here. Um, there's a sharp edge that comes on these lights from manufacturing. Um, you can take sandpaper or die grinder or file or whatever and um, just slightly take off the real sharp edge that's right here. Okay, do that evenly all the way around. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the grommet here. Right here, since these lights are typically installed on a flat surface, um, you can see that you know they only make this little lip right here uh, big enough for pretty much a flat surface. When it's on a radius, it kind of messes it up. So um, this real thick part of rubber right here is what prevents the light from being able to be pushed in. So what you want to do, and, and you can install it um, like that. Um, this is how we used to always do it and it works fine. Um, it's just harder to get the light in because you're fighting that big lip of rubber. Okay. So once you have this in here like that, go ahead and push, push the grommet all the way in like this. And you'll see that the rubber is between these two bolts right here. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take Dawn dish soap. Uh, if you try to use dollar store brand or something like that, it doesn't have the same lubricity, if that's a word, as Dawn does. So you just want to put this on uh, pretty heavy. It will help you out. Avoid some curse words. Have your rag ready. Okay. Pull out your pigtail. Plug your pigtail into the light. Now, what we need to do is we need to get this light started. That's, sorry, it's really slippery. You need to get the light started in here evenly. And you want to apply even pressure when you're doing this. Okay, so now it's forced its way through uh, very gently, no cracks or nothing. And you just want to lightly push on it to get your light angled correctly. Okay, there it snapped in for its final. Okay, you can kind of position it just how you want it. Go ahead and wipe off your your light. And I'll have Miguel here go around so that you can see. It's gonna be a little more rubber right here and right here because it's on a radius. And it's gonna be less here and here. But that's all you need to do. And you can avoid a lot of headache. Anyways, check out uh, rockridgefourwheeldrive.com or pandemic-usa.com. Thanks.